guess we've got more CDs. <laughs> yep, been to Mum's today, and well, they were going to give all the CDs back to Biggles, and I was like, no, let me look through them first. Um, but yeah, Biggles can have these back when I'm done with them. Most of the, I will keep some to um, play on that, but most of these are going to be ripped to the PC anyway, because I listen, 99% of my music I listen to through the PC, so, uh, so that'll be a job for whenever. I don't think, well, Biggle said he was going to try and sell them, but I don't think he's going to sell them, really. I mean, you might get 50p if you're lucky. No one really listens to CDs nowadays. It's all iPods or MP3 players. Well, not even that anymore, is it? You can do all that with um, smartphones. Or through the PC. <laughs> if you're a computer user like I am, or a Mac, you know, Mac, PC, whatever, I can guarantee you'll probably have your music all stored on your computer, like I have. Uh, we had a lovely roast dinner at Mum's. Uh... She picked me up at lunchtime, as always. It's the usual time, anyway. Thereabouts, depending what she's doing. It might be close at one o'clock sometimes, but lunchtime is. Um, so I haven't actually done much tonight. haven't done any more to the Saracen, because I haven't been here. So that's going to be a job for tomorrow. Get the, um, the find a spring to replace on the broken to replace the broken one that I snapped yesterday. That's uh, that's what it's meant to look like. It's meant to have that on it. But of course, as you see, for the one I, with the one I had on here, <laughs> that long bit snapped off. <laughs> but thankfully, I've got V brakes in my box of spares downstairs that do have that same type of spring on. Um, so I'll just grab one. <laughs> and uh, replace it. I should be good to go. I weren't going to, but I'm, well, I'm still not sure if I'm going to change the brake pads or just uh, shut up, noisy. <laughs> or just um, change the little nuts to put some cleaner ones on. I'm trying to make it look as respectable as possible and those rusty nuts really don't help. Uh, I want to try and get the front reflector off so I can get the original one back on. Preferably without having to uh, sacrifice that reflector bracket, because I might have to try and get some um, vice grips or something on that on the head of that bolt so I can uh, hopefully unscrew it or, or even have enough room to take the hacksaw through it if I can't undo the nut because it's rusted up. And of course, being an Allen screw, the um, hole in the top of the bolt for that Allen key is all rounded off, so I can't even use a hexagon key in there, or an Allen key, whatever you want to call it. Which is a drag, but never mind. Batteries on charge of what to do with them yesterday, but completely forgot. I will make sure I have a batch charged up for Chris yeah, Christmas Eve, so I'll put them on charge quite early Tuesday. If I need any, anyway, I don't think I'll use them all by then. I'll have this pair and a pair on the table to charge. And if I make a video tomorrow of that pair, so I might actually have another load to go in. But I'll take a few pairs out to Mum's, because I'm going to take the camera. I'm going to take the laptop. Uh, I'll take the cable for the camera. So I can try and, I don't know, upload something to maybe Facebook, you know, photos or anything. I'm taking my little fan, my USB fan, and the plug. I'm not going to remember where I put the mains at that. Um, I was going to take that out to Mum's, but I think I'll keep that. Because I've actually got four out there at the moment. Which is uh, more than enough. There's a little one in the toolbox in the shed. I left that in there deliberately. Uh, there's one mum uses for when she's uh, letting the dog out at night, so she can see it. <laughs> uh, I've got spare set batteries for here. 
stepdad's got his big mag light, but there's no batteries in that. Probably with a funny tooth. Can't feel no holes or anything in the tooth or any. You know, but I just sort of like an ape there, I don't know. I hope I don't have to go see a dentist because I really hate dentists. Yeah. Uh, so I've got my laptop bag out ready. I won't put that or pack that up until Wednesday. Yeah, Christmas. Yeah, it's the twentieth today, isn't it? Yeah. Um, reason being, I'll do it Wednesday night, not Thursday morning, Christmas Eve, is because Mum's going to be here early. Because um, she doesn't want to be messing around Christmas Eve doing shopping and things. She wants to get it done out of the way, which is fair enough. Which means I'm going to have to actually, for once, drag my ass out of bed early. Which may not be a bad thing, because it might help me sleep that night. Because I'm not good at sleeping in where I'm not used to. Um, actually, I think of one year I did sleep in my sister's room, because she, well, she didn't stay at Mum's that night. She stayed over at her current, or at her boyfriend's, at the, off the top. Yeah. <laughs> but that was probably one of the few Christmas Eves I did manage to get some sleep, but... My sister and my brother are going to be there this year, so... I'll be keeping in the lounge. On the dog's bed. I don't think people believe that I'm going to do that, but I am going to be sleeping on the dog's bed. <laughs> it's not one of those big plastic hard ones that you throw a blanket in. It is actually like a, a big soft pillow, basically. With a headrest on one end, so... I figured, why not? Be more comfortable than the bloody sofa. And uh, hopefully with the fan, with the hum and the breeze off of that, I should be able to sleep pretty well. Cause I, that might be one of the reasons I find it hard to... Uh, doze off in places I'm not familiar with. Um, or not used to sleeping in, I should say, because obviously I'm familiar with Mum's house. So, fan goes with me. I might take my um, new torch with me. Just so I can see how good it is in the pitch black, because she's in the middle of the countryside, there's no street lights, so... I might take the camera and record it, so we can actually see how well this 2.99 torch from Lidl's works. Oh, that's the plug. That's what I was looking for. It's actually got two LEDs on it. Red one to show it's plugged in and live, and the green one on there, which comes on when you turn on a device. So if you plug your cell phone in, the green light will come on. If, when I plug the fan in and turn that on, the green light comes on. Uh, one downside is we don't have any Christmas lights on the tree at Mum's because they decided to die. <laughs> uh, so, it's a loose connection. Because with modern lights, if a bulb blows, the rest of the set stays lit. I've checked the fuse bulb. I will take some spare bulbs out, but I did a continuity test with one of these. And the bulb tested fine. Uh, so, but unless that meter is lying to me, which is why I may take a few spare bulbs out, just in case. Uh, what was I going to say? There's a um, road lamp I'm watching on eBay, or a barricade glow, which I'll just show you. I think I've shown this, but I can't remember, so I'm going to do it again. So apologies if I have. Um, that's going to be on the next page of my watch list. I'm trying to delete that one. And delete that one as 
having a quick <laughs> sort out in my watch list. So I've got so many ended items here that I've forgotten about. Ever since I had that crap with eBay I haven't been on here because that just pissed me off. I could buy 30 vintage flower shape Christmas um, light shades for fairy lights if I wanted to for 99p <laughs> if I really wanted to nah that's this one that as well. right sorted I think yeah so here's the light and the camera focuses on it it's um a wolf it's made by wolf lighting Didn't know I could do that. And I like this. I've bought lamps from this seller before, so I'm not worried about buying more. Um, but I don't know whether to get it when I get paid Christmas Eve, or see it does work and everything. With the, oh, that's the crack. Or um, wait until New Year. Might wait till New Year. Because he's had it listed up here for quite a while. I just figured that would be quite a uh, interesting lamp to add to the collection. It's um, well, he's got it. What he's got written here is because it's not coming up clear on the camera, so I'll read it out. Rare Hazard Warning Beacon, made by Wolf Lighting. This lamp is specifically for use in explosive, at explosive atmospheres such as mining environments. It is ATEX compliant and for use in, in hazardous zones 0, 1 and 2. This is a large specialist lamp. It requires a special battery to operate, not included, and costs 49.99 in British pounds each from the manufacturer. I have managed to connect a standard 6 volt road lamp battery to show it working. The lamp is in full working order and flashes. The lamp is still available today from Wolf Lighting and costs £140 without battery or delivery. <laughs> Ow! It's an expensive light for something made out of plastic. With a grill added to it, that's pretty much it. And I, well, actually, I did look it up, and it does have a lot more specs to it than that. I mean, the battery that they you can get for it, I think it can last. I can't remember how long they said it could last. Was it two weeks straight? The modern one, because it's an, the modern one's an LED. The one that he sells on here has got an incandescent bulb, and it's not an LED. Although I do believe you can get um, LED conversions. Ah. Don't tell me someone bidded on um Oh. I could get European cables. From my computers and just cut the European plug off and put a British one on it. It'll be exactly the same regs, exactly the same... Um, type of cable rating, etc. Hmm. Well, that's not bad. I know I need six, but there's a job lot of ten here for five seventy-five. Although the postage is rather steep, so he can stick that up his ass. I know for a fact that's not going to cost seven pounds something to post that. Cheeky sod. I'll worry about that in the new year, though. I don't need those quite yet. That's why I'm not sure if I'm going to... Um, oh, goody. Oh. 
or publish that. I just need to change a few things. Really, it's a sonic ripoff from the look of it called Zippy. Zippy the Porcupine. now so I'm just scrolling. Oh well. Yep. So it's pretty much a quick oh, video. What do I do with my glass? Oh, it's up there. <laughs> but this little shit bag has now got a new trick that if I ignore his meowing in the mornings, he'll get up on the bed and start licking my hair to wake me up. Don't you, my darling little shit bag? Scratchy, 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 scratchy. Bite my hand because I'm scratching you, I will bite you. Capiche? Get? Freaking asshole. So what, I like dogs, because they don't do that. You, know, you can play games with dogs, you know, and tickle them here, there, and everywhere, and they will love it. You do that with a cat, especially this one, and he will bite you. Ow! Fuck off. La dee da dee da. So what have we got? Technically four sleeps till Santa, as the radio would say. One of our local radio stations have ran for several years a countdown to Christmas, mainly for the kids, and they sing a little jingle to go with it. And they just count down the number of sleeps till Christmas. So yeah, if we count tonight, which is Sunday the 20th of December, we've got four sleeps to go. Not many sleeps. Keep going quiet because I just can't think of anything. I think I've covered just about everything. So... On that note, it'll be a bit more productive tomorrow because I'm going to do some work on the uh, Saracen. Uh, get as much done as I can, at least. Um, I might be able to sort at least one gear cable for it as well. I'll have to, uh, if I remember, when I'm down in the shed getting um, a spring for this, I'll, um, Actually, these brake pads have still got plenty of use left in them. I'll reuse them. I'll just change the air uh, up. Anyway, I'll grab the cables I've got down there. Uh, hopefully, I'll have a gear cable long enough. Or, I may still have a gear cable attached to a grip shift long enough. Because quite a few of my grip shifts up here are... Um, in my box of gear shifters still have cables attached. Ah. The original colour of that is black. It's gone rusty on the back one, so... I've got 
some little tins of black paint up the corner here. I can just uh, touch it up. Got some paint brushes. At least make it look a little better, wouldn't it? I've got the stuff here, might as well use it. It's only enamel paint, but to be honest, I've used it on bike parts before and it lasts pretty bloody well, to be honest. You know, the little brake noodles. Rusty ones. I used to rub down with a bit of steel wool just to get rid of all the rough, rust, rusty surface so they were nice and smooth. I just paint them in a random colour. Usually with some enamel paint used in uh, modelling and whatnot. That's what that is at the corner there behind me. I don't know if you can just see it sort of here, one of little tins. Yeah. That did actually make it look nice, you know, sort of reusing what I've got and giving it a little bit of a personal touch as well. That seemed to work quite well. Not as good as sort of like the ones you could probably buy, the anodized ones, but still, I tidied it up and it's better than looking at rust. That's the way I always saw it. I can hear a burglar alarm going off somewhere. I don't want to bother with burglar alarms anymore because everyone ignores them anyway. It doesn't matter if they're on a building or a car alarm, any sort of alarm like that always gets ignored. Probably, probably because uh, so many of them are just nuisance. And there's no one actually trying to break in or trying to steal your car, they're just going off because a leaf has triggered it. Actually, my old um, primary school, their burglar alarm used to go off just because insects got into the box. The, care, the caretaker lived near us because we literally lived on the doorstep of the school. Literally about a one minute walk. Um, actually, while I was, for all the years I was at that school. Actually, for most of my years in high school, we lived on the same road. We just moved a few doors down. Because the house we were in was owned by the council back then. The council don't own any houses now. They sold them off to Victory Housing Association. Or Housing Trust, as you should say. Well, their remaining stock, they did. Um, Yeah, and the caretaker lived literally just a couple of doors away from us, and she used to walk across there and turn the bloody alarm off. Oh, that was such a nuisance. It's a lovely estate, though. I do miss living in that estate. Nothing's the same, nothing. We moved off that estate when my mum and dad broke up. So that has, has to be around... Around right about 2000 ish. Yeah, something like that. I know I'm not far off. I don't think I'm exact, but I know I'm not far off. I can't remember if it was just, just before that or just after. I'm trying to remember if I was still at high school or not when they broke up. No, I wasn't. So that would have been. 2000, 2001. No later than 2001. Actually, no, that's when Mum and Dad broke up. Yeah, it would have been 2001, 2002. I knew I'd get there eventually when I thought about it. Um, we moved off that state. They used to nickname it Chinatown, but there's a lot of um, rumours and theories why, why that housing estate was called that. Um, apparently one theory is because people used to hang the washing lines up and it used to look like a Chinese town, so they nicknamed it Chinatown. Um, <laughs> I remember the um, town's football club used to be up on that estate until they moved across town. We used to go across and play on the old field.
Those were the days. I'm so reminiscing now on my old memories. It's weird. Things like that I can remember easily. If I try and remember something like what I did yesterday, I've got to think about it and try and remember. But things from my childhood, and from donkey's years ago, I can just remember just by that. You're getting on my tits now, cat. I need to go pee at some point. Ah. It's only half past ten. Spend the rest of the night bored. I don't really want to eat anything because my sugar levels are still far higher than they should be. Uh, I suppose I could uh, go for a pee and then go for a walk, but the hell are you trying to do? <laughs> I get this with the dogs when I go at mum's. You're nuts, cat. You really are. But you're mine, nutty cat. Oh, so is it because Daddy's been gone most of the day? I know you don't want feeding because I've already done you. Yeah? Oh yeah, I've got to do that Christmas Eve. I've got to go get some cat litter for him and cat food. And then I've got to do his tray before I go. And make sure he's got food and water down in the kitchen. Um, I don't want to be gone any longer than at least two nights. Um... Mum doesn't drink, so there's no... Right? <laughs> so there's you know, no worry about that, but... She may not feel up to A, bringing me home, and B... If I sleep well enough Christmas Eve... Then I might decide to stay another night. It just depends how I feel as well. But, um, it's mainly because I don't want to leave his food in the dish too long. I may actually, um, do one as wet food and one as dry food. I might get a box of biscuits. Try them on that, because at least the biscuits won't dry out, because they're already dry. <laughs> but, um, I don't actually know if he'll eat biscuits. I can't remember if I ever tried it. I always give him wet food. And it's either, it's got to be either... Meat in jelly or meat in gravy for him. He will not eat the loaf stuff. Will you? Unless I really sort of mash it up and make it in little small chunks. He will not eat it. I don't blame him actually because that doesn't look as nice as the others. <laughs> anyway, how long have I been chatting for? Probably a lot longer than I think. Ooh, nearly half an hour. Oops. Alright then, that's a bit longer than I wanted to go on for, but... Oh well. Um, I'm just going to edit the title on the video I just uploaded. Add tags and all that malarkey and uh, publish that. And that's done for the night. Um, a friend of mine on Facebook is probably wondering where I got to because she sent me voice messages I don't know how long ago. <laughs> Heck, I've killed the batteries in this camera already trying to do a video tonight, but they're not as good as the other ones, so... Anyway, I shall bid ye all farewell. Really? Um, as always, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. It's your choice. Your opinion matters. I'm not one of these YouTubers that'll get butt hurt, butt hurt over um, dislikes. Because I see it as a way of helping me out. And, uh, well, it helps me out, and plus, everyone's entitled to their opinions. So if you don't like the video, you don't like the video. Anyway, if you do like the video and you want to see more, then always hit the subscribe button. And, uh, I'll talk to you again in the next video. Bye.